Today, I'm gonna to show you the four easy steps to get the Wise Cam into HomeKit using Hoobs and the pros and cons of doing this. Let's jump right in. If you're not familiar with Hoobs, Hoobs is a home bridge that allows you to get non HomeKit compatible devices into HomeKit. The Wise Cam does not natively support HomeKit, so we will have to use the RTPS firmware from Wise, which is separate from the main Wise Cam firmware. Now, let's hop into my computer and I'll show you how to get the Wise Cam into HomeKit. Step number one is that we need to download and install the Wise Cam RTSP firmware. So head on over to Wise's website, scroll down to where it says how to install the RTSP firmware, and then choose the appropriate download link for whichever camera that you have. For this video, we're just going to be using it for the Wise Cam V2. So download, it'll download to your computer, and it will look like this guy right here. So you just want to double click on this file. And if you are using a Mac, you will get this error right here. It basically is saying that Macs cannot open .bin files, which in this case is totally fine. Now I want to take the file that we just extracted and rename it to demo. Okay, now here we have my micro SD card that I'm gonna be putting in the Wise Cam. So I just wanna drag this file and put it on the micro SD card just like that. So now that we have the file on the micro SD card, we need to put the card into the camera and then basically flash the firmware by holding down the setup button while we're plugging in the camera. The light will turn from yellow to blue pretty fast. And once the light is solid blue, release the setup button and wait a couple of minutes and the camera will change colors and restart. And whenever the color is a solid blue, that means it's all done. So now whenever we go back and open up the Wise app, it should Go ahead and show us the live feed. And as you can see, everything is working just fine. So what we need to do now, step two, is to enable the RTSP feature in the Wise app. So all we're gonna need to do is just hit the little cog wheel at the top right, scroll down to advanced settings, then you'll see a section for RTSP. You want to tap that and then tap the toggle to turn it on. Now we need to create a username and password. This is gonna be for each camera specifically, so if you want to have multiple Wise cameras in HomeKit, you need to have a different username and password. So just for this example, I'm gonna be making my username test, and password is gonna be testing123. And then whenever you're done, just click done, and tap generate URL. So now we have a basically a live stream URL, so we want to just copy this because we will need this later on. So step number three, we need to test the link and make sure that the live feed is working properly. So a good way to check this is to go back on the computer and you can open up any RCSP compatible player. But my personal favorite is VLC. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Again, I'll leave a link down below for the VLC download. And we need to just open up this, this, this link so we can just go to open me media and now go to the network tab and just paste that same URL and choose open. And then I'll take a couple of seconds and then the link will open. There is a slight delay, but everything seems to be working fine. Finally, for step four, we are now ready to add this camera to HomeKit via Hoops. So once you get logged into your Hoops dashboard, look on the left-hand side for this puzzle piece. We need to go ahead and click on that and we need to add a plugin. So click on search and we need to type in camera and we need to install this one, camera FFmpeg. So go ahead and click install. So once it's installed, you will see this page. At the very top, there's a box for name. You can change this name if you want. It will not change the name in the home app, so it really does not matter. So just scroll down, you leave everything the way that it is. This is the part you want to really focus on. This is the like the, the config box. So there is a config that is out there for this plugin. I will just go ahead and paste it here. Uh, I will leave it down in the, just the description below so you can just copy and paste it into your box. Now there are a couple of things we need to change in here. First thing is that where you see where it says name, we need to change this camera name. This is gonna be the name that it shows up in the home app. So I'll just name this Wise Cam. Now we need to go down a couple of lines in the code and put in our same username and password and the IP address that we saw from the Wise app. Now, if you have multiple Wise cams that you want to add to HomeKit, you will have to add in a little bit of extra code. Basically, after the second bracket, just type comma and then a couple spaces, and then you're gonna need to copy and paste this whole thing and then paste it. So to make it easy for you guys, I'll just leave the full configuration down in the description below for one wise cam and for two wise cams. So if you want to add two wise cams, I'll then just copy that from the description and put it in your hoops. Go ahead and click save changes. All right, so now if we go into the home app and we scroll down and go to our cameras, we'll now see the wise cam right here in HomeKit. This is pretty cool. It does say no response, but it will show our thumbnail. See, so it's showing our thumbnail right now. And if we were to click on it, it does take a couple of seconds to load up, but uh, wait here for a second. And you can see it says live and, oh, let me turn the audio off. 
All right, and now you can see if I move my hand in front of the camera, everything is good. So this is pretty cool. So now if you were to pop over back to the Wise app to see if the app is still streaming in the Wise app, we can see that the app, everything is working fine in the Wise app as well. This is great, but like many other HomeKit cameras, there are some pros and cons with having this camera in HomeKit. So I'm gonna start with the pros since there are just a few. Number one is that you can see your camera feed in the same places that you control all of your other HomeKit devices. Number two is that you can see the live feed of your Wise cam on your Apple TV. Now let's move on to the cons because we have a lot to get through. Number one is that there is a little bit of a, of a delay when viewing the live stream compared to to the uv 2c cameras you also do not get two-way audio so you're only able to hear the person on the other end and they cannot hear you this is an audio test streaming straight from the home app as you can tell it sounds okay about as good as it does in the wire app. again this is just the test streaming the audio from the home app you also cannot turn on or off night vision from the home app. And if you're using the Wise campaign, then you will not have access to the panning features like you would normally get from the Wise app. The Wise cam is only used for, for streaming, so it does not support cloud recording, HomeKit secure video, or facial recognition like the youth cams do. It will only record locally to, to the micro SD card that is inside the Wise cam. One of the biggest cons is that you do not get any motion or sound notifications in the home app. You still do get them from the Wise app, which is good, but you don't get anything from the Home app. And in fact, it does not even show up as an option in the no notification settings where you can turn on and off your notifications for other HomeKit cameras. The motion sensor and mic in the Wise cam itself is not exposed to HomeKit. I did find a mic volume exposed in the Home Plus 4 app, but there's really nothing that you can do with it. However, you can add the Wise motion and contact sensor to HomeKit via the Wise connected HomeKit plug-in which I will leave a link down below. If you want to see how the Wise cam stacks up against the Eufy indoor cam then check out this video right here and here's another video that I think you guys will like and I'll see you guys in the next one.